spinach in a can. Power from spinach. I got, 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 got. Sometimes all you want from the spooky season is something little, like a mini candy bar. And a Halloween-themed episode of a wonderful TV show might provide just that. I do have this handy-dandy little trap here. And look, it even opens and closes. Look, look, look. Voila. We have all of the episodes you need to get into the Halloween spirit. Whether you want a spooky episode of your favorite sitcom, some animated scares, or an inspiring seasonal special. Welcome to Screen Crowd. Today, we bring you our top 10 Halloween episodes from TV shows. Number 10, Family Matters, Season 8, Episode 7, Stevel. Have you ever heard the expression, be careful what you wish for? In a 1996 Halloween episode of Family Matters, good-natured neighbor Steve Urkel discovers that he owns a ventriloquist dummy that looks exactly like him. Steve then hopes that his newfound friend is still alive, and he achieves his wish. I just wish I could make this dummy talk. Unfortunately, steve is born with a bolt of lightning and immediately proceeds to harass Steve and the entire Winslow family. Can you imagine convincing someone that your new doll is not only alive, but also torturing your family and friends? Steve, nothing with a plywood brain is alive. A large portion of the people are unlikely to believe you for a second. Number 9. American Dad Season 7 Episode 3 Best Little Horror House in Langley Falls American Dad's Best Little Horror House in Langley Falls is a humorous satire on our obsessions with true crime and keeping up with the Joneses, with all the hilarity we enjoy from the animated program and some darker turns. And Barry. I'm Jonah Hill! Or Seth Rogen if I put on Steve's glasses. Stan decides to bring in five of the most deadly serial killers using Roger's CIA connections to obtain real body parts and instruments. Usually when I see men in cages, they're kissing each other and I'm throwing pesos at them. Peso! Kiss! Kiss! When the serial killers rush into the kitchen, Stan and others retreat through the woods to a factory, where they are rescued by Toshi, who kills the serial killers with his sword. Unfortunately, he first tears Francine's outfit in front of them, leaving her in underwear. Like this one? Is this what you want? Now that's a head I can cut off. And then releases them free, prompting Stan, Francine, Roger, and Klaus to seek refuge in the kitchen. When they learn that Toshi is seeking them, they retreat to Langley Falls. Number 8, Friends. Season 8, Episode 6, The One with the Halloween Party. Friends delivers holiday episodes exceptionally well. Its various Thanksgiving episodes are on a different level. Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> Joey's going to be thrilled. He was hoping you'd come by as a slutty nurse. Um, actually, I'm just a nurse. <laughs> you'd think that would embarrass me, but you see, I'm maxed out. <laughs> but the one with the Halloween party has its own charms. The cleverly titled The One with the Halloween Party debuted in Friends' seventh season. Monica and Chandler's choice to throw a Halloween costume party produces a slew of problems. Rachel, played by Jennifer Aniston, attempts to be a good person by handing out candy to trick-or-treaters. That deserves another piece of candy. Thank you. <laughs> but she fails after boring the first one with a fashion story. Monica and Phoebe, dressed as Catwoman and Supergirl, debate about who would win a fight between Chandler and Ross. Who do you think would win in a fight? Catwoman or Supergirl? Catwoman, hands down. Yeah. But between you and Phoebe, I'd have to give the edge to Phoebe. <laughs> what? Really? Number 7. The Office. Season 7, Episode 6. Costume Contest. Costume contest and bombing for apples and a Ouija board. Oh, boom! Oh, explosion! McGruber! Costume Contest is the sixth episode of the seventh season and the 132nd episode overall of the American comedy television series The Office. Pam challenges the Dunder Mifflin office crew to a costume contest. She is giving away a coupon book with $15,000 in discounts to the Scranton region as a reward. As a result, the staff believe the book is worth $15,000. Everyone realizes this coupon book is not actually worth $15,000, right? You'd have to spend $200,000 on crap you don't even need to get $15,000 worth of benefits. <laughs> I'm not the only one who sees this, right? No. no. The increasingly ridiculous outfits alone make this a funny Halloween entry. 
The amount of trouble everyone goes through to obtain a basic coupon book is the classic The Office farce. Finally, the cold open of this episode, which features Stanley sensing literally nothing, is incredibly legendary. But, yours. Stanley just drank OJ out of my mug and didn't seem to realize that it wasn't his hot coffee. So the question has to be asked, is there no limit to what he won't notice? The episode, written by Justin Spitzer and directed by Dean Holland, aired on NBC in the United States on October 28, 2010. It received 8.07 million views. This episode garnered favorable feedback from viewers. Who wouldn't love those costumes? Number 6. Parks and Recreation Season 5 Episode 5 Halloween Surprise Halloween Surprise is the fifth episode of the fifth season of Parks and Recreation. Andy, Diane, and Ron all go trick-or-treating with their children in the episode. So you're a princess too, hey? Oh, for the last four years, everything has been princesses. Every book, every movie, every backpack, all princesses all the time. Oh, that sounds fun. It's a nightmare. Ron spends the majority of the night alone after a quarrel between Diane and Ron. The group of characters goes trick-or-treating again a week after Halloween. Parks and Recreation's brilliance is best described by little moments of absurdity possibly more than any other TV program besides Community. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's the death canoe. Get your foot out the water, dumbass. It's Blood Lake. In other words, it's the perfect show for recaps. Number 5. Stranger Things, Season 2, Episode 2. Trick or Treat Freak. Stranger Things is a fairly spooky show in and of itself, but the second episode of Season 2, Trick or Treat Freak, has a special kind of charm. Not only does the episode show Will struggle with his lingering connection to the Upside Down, but it also touches on that heartfelt period between childhood and adulthood when you still desire to trick or treat, but aren't sure it's cool anymore. Mike and his friends appear in their Ghostbusters costumes as the only ones that dressed up for Halloween in Hawkins. Guys, guys, guys! Why is no one else wearing costumes? Providing the right amount of nostalgia for anyone who misses trick-or-treating. It's a moment of reality in a deeply spooky show that makes everything that follows feel more personal. Number four, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Season 2, Episode 6, Halloween Buffy had two excellent and quite different Halloween episodes. This one from Season 2 finds the gang thrilled about the occasion, which is unusual given there isn't normally much vampire activity on Halloween. What's the deal? Oh, a bunch of little kids need people to take them trick-or-treating. Sign up and get your own pack of sugar-hyped little runts for the night. Yikes, I'll stick to vampires. Ethan's Costume Shop has the nicest costumes, but because this is Sunnydale, the outfits are a little unusual. Everyone transforms into whatever costume they're wearing, and the mighty slayer has chosen an 18th century maiden who transforms into a damsel in distress whenever she sees a frightening monster. Does he know about your costume? Nope. Call it a blast from his past. Xander is a soldier who believes he's being trained in combat. Willow is invisible because she's a ghost and Giles realizes it's his old friend Ethan Rain who's up to no good. This humorous episode sets certain recurring themes throughout the series. The runner-up, Fear Itself, is a terrifying episode. Number 3. Martin, Season 1, Episode 10. The Night He Came Home. It is only normal that there would be not just one, but two amusing and spooky episodes entirely dedicated to Halloween, since this sitcom ran for a pretty good number of seasons. Five, to be exact. I could bite you on your neck now. Oh, she broke your neck, but you get out of here, you little nasty boy. You little nasty, you nasty, you nasty, you nasty, you don't like you anyway. In this funny Martin Lawrence Halloween special, Martin Payne and friends, including Tiny Roscoe, who was also portrayed by Lawrence, trade ghost stories and conduct a seance. What started as a harmless Halloween night ghost story session ends in fear as a ghost visits the group. Let this be a moral lesson to all of us. If they couldn't handle the result, they shouldn't have had a seance. Number 2. 
Freaks and Geeks Season 1 Episode 3 Tricks and Treats Tricks and Treats is the third episode of Paul Fegg and Judd Apatow's cult favorite sitcom and finds the weird family celebrating quite different holidays. Unfortunately, this program only lasted one magnificent season. Therefore, it only has one Halloween episode, but it's a really good one. Lindsay believes she is too cool for Halloween, but her mother wants her to stay home and hand out candy to trick-or-treaters. Meanwhile, we get some nice 80s costumes from Sam, Bill, and Neil, who venture to the streets for one last childhood Halloween. We're only freshmen in high school. High school? That's too old. You're young at heart. Halloween is one of the most difficult times of the year for that awkward age when you still want to do stuff as a kid, and there's tempting tricking going on, and this cult favorite TV movie perfectly captures all of this angst. Number 1. Simpsons Season 6, Episode 6 Treehouse of Horror 5 No TV program has had as much of an impact on the world of TV holiday specials as The Simpsons. While the show has shown 30 Treehouse of Horror episodes to date, Treehouse of Horror 5 is undoubtedly the greatest. Oh, change channel! Dent frozen! This episode from the sixth season contains some of the show's most iconic Halloween segments, including Time and Punishment, during which Homer accidentally changes the course of history with a time-traveling toaster. I'm the first non-Brazilian person to travel backwards through time. Correction, Homer, you're the second. That's right, Mr. Peabody. Quiet, you. The Shining, which is the show's parody of The Shining, and Nightmare Cafeteria, in which school officials devise an innovative and filling way to clear out crowded detention halls. Of course, this is cheating because it is multiple episodes instead of just one. But then how could it not be included? The Simpsons' Treehouse of Horror series of episodes have been shown yearly around Halloween since 1990. That's a wrap! Which of these episodes will you be jumping on next? Let us know in the comments, and make sure to hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video!